Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Shooter Sunglasses. And I apologize it took me this long to actually review this classic pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now let's go ahead and talk about the dimensions of these frames. This is the standard size and they have 58 millimeter lenses and a nine millimeter bridge. They also do produce a larger size that has 62 millimeter lenses and that same nine millimeter bridge. Now the reason they're named Shooter is because Ray-Ban put a novelty bullet hole in the center of the frames. Now now for those gun enthusiasts out there, the bullet hole is actually the same size or caliber as a 9mm handgun round, so you guys can see it's just a tiny bit smaller than that round. So if you guys are a gun enthusiast and you're wondering uh, what size the caliber it is, well, now you know. This style of sunglasses was extremely popular in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Now another big styling element on these frames, of course, is the top sweat bar. So this is made out of an acetate material. Now the purpose of the sweat bar is it's going to push the sunglasses off your face about a millimeter, and that way sweat from your forehead or eyebrows doesn't get on the lenses and then slowly drop down, impeding your vision. They're going to stick out a little bit in front, that way that doesn't happen, and it really does work, and it also looks pretty cool as well. So with the novelty bullet hole in the center of the frames and the sweat bar, you're not going to see a lot of people wearing these sunglasses anymore. Like I said, they were very popular, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Actually, these sunglasses are pretty rare right now and you don't see a lot of people wearing these. So if you're looking to buy a classic pair of Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses, but you see people wear those all the time and you want something that's a little bit more unique, these sunglasses just might be for you. Now, I also have a couple other Ray-Ban Aviator styles here. Right here we have these original classic Ray-Ban Aviators, so I'll pop these on so you guys can see how those look compared to uh, these Ray-Ban shooter sunglasses. As you guys can see, they look a little bit more traditional and a little bit more iconic. Now let's go ahead and pop on the other pair that I have here, which are the Ray-Ban Outdoorsmen. They are very similar because they both have that upper sweat bar. The biggest difference is these Ray-Ban Outdoorsmen have these wire cable temples and these uh, Ray-Ban shooter sunglasses just have the traditional skull temples where these Ray-Ban outdoorsmen don't. So let me pop on these Ray-Ban outdoorsmen, uh, which is gonna be a little bit hard here to do with one hand because these wire temples uh, have to be adjusted behind the ear. But as you guys can see here, very similar to each other. The biggest difference here is of course the cable temples and then the lack of the bullet hole on the outdoorsmen. Now in my review of the outdoorsmen sunglasses, I kind of said I didn't like the wire temples. They kind of get stuck behind the ear and they kind of dig in a little bit so I really do like this skull style so if you're looking for a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses with that sweat bar but don't want those cable temples the Ray-Ban shooter might be for you now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the fine details on these frames of course like every pair of new Ray-Ban sunglasses they have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses then moving over to the middle left of the lens we can see an etched RB logo for authentication purposes as well and if we take a look at the top ridge of the sunglasses we can see see they say a Ray-Ban made in Italy that's etched here on the top bridge sunglasses not the sweat bar but the top bridge sunglasses it has that etched beautifully and then if we look underneath that same bridge we can see they have the lens size and bridge dimensions here etched underneath so they say 58 Zero 09 standing of course for 58 millimeter lenses and a nine millimeter bridge. And that is etched here on the left side, the same side of sunglasses that they have the etched RB logo. So if it's on the other side, it's probably going to be fake. So make sure it's on the left side. Now these sunglasses also feature Ray-Ban's fully adjustable metal nose rest. And they have this little ivory acetate uh, pad here on the nose rest. And if we look through it, cause it's somewhat transparent, we can see an etched RB logo there for authentication purposes. Now, if we take a look here at the inner right Temple sunglasses, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And if we take a look here at the right side, they say RB3138 and then shooter after that with the lens size and the bridge width of the sunglasses. Now the lenses on these frames have all glass lenses and the optical clarity of these is very good. These unfortunately don't come with polarized lenses, so you're not gonna have that as an option, which again is very unfortunate. I don't know why, because of course they make tons of lenses for the classic Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses and these use the exact same lenses as those classic sunglasses. So Ray-Ban could easily produce a polarized pair, but for whatever reason, they don't. But again, these do have all glass lenses and they are gonna block 100% UVA and UVB rays. And the color of these lenses are Ray-Ban's G15 Classic Lens. Now overall, I do like this pair of sunglasses. The build quality is just as good as those classic original Aviator sunglasses, but they definitely do have a couple cool uh, design elements on these frames that those classic ones don't. So if you're looking to stand out from the crowd, this pair might be for you. 
As far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to cost $153 directly on Ray-Ban's website and in most stores. However, I recommend checking these out on Amazon because you, you can save around $20 if you pick them up from there and of course fast shipping and free returns. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check out this pair directly from Amazon if you guys are interested in it. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below and of course make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.